Hey, welcome to CO2 Meter. My name is Ben Santiago. I'm the VP of Operations. And today we're gonna to go over installing the RAD 002 ZR oxygen monitor. And this device is used for monitoring um, oxygen deficiency in work environments. Um, so anywhere that um, any gases that are stored that could potentially cause an oxygen deficiency, so things like nitrogen, argon, um, if there were to be a leak of one of those gases, the oxygen gets pushed out of the room, so we'd want to monitor in place to protect our workers. So some of those applications might include uh, food packaging, um, cryogenics, laboratory settings, anything like that you would want one of these uh, boxes installed. So today we're actually gonna be installing one of these devices in our very own testing room here at CO2 Meter. So uh, we're gonna unpackage this, get it put up on the wall to make sure that our own employees are protected here at CO2 Meter. So all you need to do is use the included mounting hardware in the box, mount that bracket to the wall, slide your device over that bracket, plug it in and you'll um, be ready to protect your employees in the event of a leak. All right, so let's actually get to that install. So all we'll need is the device and the mounting hardware. We open up this box, pull out our main sensing unit. The hardware has already been installed on the wall for us. In this case, we're actually not going to be using the relays um, for triggering. We're only using this device for alarming. So we can just disconnect the included relay harness. So now that we have our device in the power plug, we can walk over to the wall where we've already pre-drilled and pre-wired um, here in the facility. So in that case, we can connect the Cat5 that's included for the outdoor um, reader that's gonna go outside of the room. Connect to that port. And then just slide this over the mounting bracket. And as you can see that uh, the groove cut out of the bottom of the device helps hide the um, J box that's mounted behind it. And then you can just plug this in over to the power plug that's over there. starts a 240 second countdown to allow the Zircona sensing element to warm up. Um, now that our main reader is installed in the testing room, we're gonna go ahead and, and install the remote uh, reader outside of the room. So you just take that pre-wired cable, put it to the input port of the device. You'll see that it starts to power on. Hey guys, so that concludes our uh, installation video. So if you have any further questions, please contact sales at co2meter.com or check out uh, our website, co2meter.com. Thanks guys.